Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the Gamain Sports Ground. Big day football here in the Gamain Sports Ground today because the Gamain Grongong Mountain Lions, uh, they're celebrating 40 years of their amalgamation. Uh, of course, the amalgamation came about with uh, with lots of meetings and talks at the no at the end of the 1981 season and during the off season. During that off season, the the Gamay Maroons and the Madon Grongrong Magpies came together and formed what we now know as the Gamay Grongrong Madon Lions. So we'll talk a little bit more about that shortly. Uh, welcome this afternoon. We've got Baz here on the images once again, our meat tray winner, Baz. Welcome back, Baz. Very good. Andrew, number one caller in the River Arena. Andrew, I call him. So we call him Drew McAvaney Corbett. <coughs> Good afternoon to you, Andrew. Thanks very much, Guy, for those compliments. I don't know whether you could go to that extent, but um, it's good to be here on a uh, great occasion for the club, 40 years uh, amalgamation. And, um, yeah, as you see the crowd and uh, uh, things are going well, um, senior sides sitting in the five, 17s are in the five, reserves are just out of the five. Um, and uh, we've got a good roll up here of um, returnee, return players and uh, committee men and executives uh, from those 40 years. Yes, yeah, so Andrew, we saw there during the halftime of the second grade break, we had the unfurling of that uh, original 82 under 19s premiership, I believe. So, and um, Tom Carroll, the coach from that era, he, he was here today. Well, he's here today to enjoy the game. So we welcome Tom back to the ground, no stranger to uh, Ganmain, of course, um, Tom Carroll. Um, a little bit, some, little bit, we're going a little bit further today. Our man Baz is, um, is attempting to stream the game today and some of you are watching already on that Twitch TV and for those that are follow up on the, on the YouTube broadcast through, through the week, you might be able to tune in next week because we, we're going to attempt to do the same again next week. So, uh, so it's Twitch TV. So um, you'll be able to go in there and have a look, and um, so. Ha but, but of course, all what happens, what is brought to you, that's governed by technology, and we all know that the technology is a little bit uh, second grade in the bush, or perhaps third grade in a lot of places. So that's Baz has done the best he can, but he's he's working with the technology that's provided that we all that we all use for our daily business, our daily lives. So uh, anyway, it's a great initiative. The other little thing that's happening today and you'll be able to view it on the um, on the replay that Baz puts together the YouTube not today you won't see it live but we've we've got a drone up over the ground so Rowan Brill from Brill Ag he's a one of the sponsors of the footy club uh, Rowan out there from uh, Duller Road he's um, he's able to put his um, he's able to put his drone up over the ground and hope you enjoy some of those shots um, Today's one of those days that we call uh, same day footy. So it's all the junior clubs, junior, senior, football, netball, whole, everybody's here today playing on the one day. That's what we call same day footy. And, and from those drone images, you should be able to go, have a look and um, see just what sort, what, how much effort goes into um, to, to get, you know, things like this, keep it going. So you've got gatekeepers and boundary umpires and scorers and canteen attendants and water boys and girls and trainers and you name it and they're all here so uh, so Andrew you you might like to say follow on a little bit from that and um yeah no it's been a huge effort it's a, it's a huge day same day football you know the game started this morning at uh, half past eight with netball and junior Oz kick and uh, continued on through the through the middle of the day and now we've uh, about to start this the senior first grade game between Gamain, and Grong Grong Madong and Turvey Park. So, yeah, as you can see around the ground, it's a, a good roll up of um, past and present uh, players and um, supporters, and um, it all argues well for same day football in the bush. Um, getting communities involved together and um, not having not having to. Uh, make extra trips over their weekend and, and tying up with kids playing sport and, and, and supporting their senior club on a different day. So uh, it's a good, it's a big plus for um, football in the bush, uh, same day football. Yeah, that's right, Andrew. So uh, so people that haven't been able to come to the sports ground over the years, uh, that might end up with a lot of people that are involved 40 years ago and they might end up viewing this these images and 
they'll be able to get appreciate what the committee over the years have been out, able to add to the sports ground and namely the big uh, big veranda apron the viewing apron in front of the sheds there and the, the undercover netball complex Andrew out the back of the sheds been fantastic and there's, there's more to come there the resurface of the tennis courts and a new fence and new lights there badly needed so the, we've got a fair bit of the grant money and a bit of fundraising to go there and of course, Andrew, with the wet winter, the uh, the surrounds of the ground, our our in our playing surface is brilliant. 40 mils of rain here at Gamain through the week, and the, I'd regard the playing surface as still, you know, 90% very good. There's only a couple of greasy patches, but um, that surrounds the car park spectator area. That we, that's a work in progress. We're going to work on that in the future. We'll need government money. So I'm sure that um, somewhere someone will hand along the fact that I'm lobbying here today for government money, badly needed, um, keep injecting money into those rural communities. It's good pa good payback, I believe. So uh, back to you, Andrew, for a little bit more talk about, you know, what, what can we expect from the Lions today? What changes from last week? A loss at Colin Gully a fortnight ago, a win at Leeton. What today? Yeah, the Lions have had a, a different um, second round of the season. They've had three losses in the... Uh, home and away uh, and they've, they've looked to stabilise their uh, position on the ladder leading into the finals there. Um, they've got some uh, good inclusions into the side today in uh, Matt Hamlin who's uh, missed a number of weeks now through an ankle injury and also Tom Sasse who hadn't played since the second uh, game against Kuhleman. Uh, early on in the season, uh, along with Michael Roffney and Mitch Taylor that uh, missed that last week's game against uh, Leeton, has uh, strengthened the side for the Lions um, strongly, very importantly, leading up to finals to try and get that stability in the team uh, and getting back to playing somewhere where they were in that first half of the season when they were the dominant side um, uh, going, going forward. Turley yeah. Park today, They've, uh, they've coming off two losses, uh, a surprise loss to Griffith at Griffith two weeks ago, and then they challenged Kuhleman last week at Mar Oval. We're in front for three quarters of the day and uh, we're overrun by Kuhleman in that uh, final quarter. Uh, they sit fifth on the ladder and uh, they'd be looking to gain a bit of confidence. Uh, they have as yet not lock, knocked off a uh, top five side, so but they, they'll be looking to lower the Lions colours here today in front of a big crowd and uh, and get some momentum as well uh, leading into the finals uh, for a club that's it's on the improved Turvey Park. Uh, they've always got strong juniors and coached by uh, Michael Mazzocchi uh, has brought a professional uh, attitude to the club and um, they, they are on the improve and it's a big challenge for them today against the Lions. Very good. Thank you, Andrew, for that wrap. Now, um, Bruce McAvaney, he's over in Birmingham, but you're not missing out on anything because, Andrew, I told you he's all over uh, both clubs from uh, club news from both clubs. Um, Andrew, so next week, last home game for the Lions and then the week after the show. So we're fortunate probably to draw the, the bye on that show weekend. Yeah, and, yeah. And um, just to plug for the local people, it's a big um, the show, the particularly in the uh, catering area there the catering pavilion that's a big big money spinner for the club and the barbecue area so we're looking for plenty of support on show day and and we'll get it too but it but of course the show has been in recess recess since 2019 so so we're gearing up we're gearing up for a terrific uh, show at gan main on the 20th of august and so we're going to need all hands on deck to help with that job yeah, it's a, a busy time of the year for the, the club, um, uh, especially when the, their sides are in finals and, and the show as well, so being involved in the community and helping out other organisations. Um, it's a big, big plus and um, yeah, that's on in two weeks and uh, everyone's looking forward to uh, having, having the show back. Yeah, well, it's great, great for the kids, I think, but I think all ages enjoy the show, Andrew. I, I think that's been proven over the years, no doubt about it. So just go back to those... Uh, that um, we're going to be able to eventually see those uh, drone images put up there by Rowan Brill from Brill Ag and of course Rowan and Sophie out there on that Duller Road. Another one of these um, families, Rowan's come back with his skills, his agronomy skills, come back, moved onto the farm and he does private agronomy work and Andrew, interestingly, last game you were talking about Len Lenny Brill, well Rowan and Sophie's boys there, Jim, Harry and George, they're um, great-grandchildren of... Um, 
Lenny Brill, that uh, flashy wingman from the Maroons back in the back in the day in the in the old Gam main side, and he was the best and fairest winner, and, he, and people he was a very revered um, fast wingman for for the, the old Maroons back in the day. So. Um, so that's that's terrific. That um, yeah, we, we like these people that are moving back to the community, and we can in, enjoy their skills that they've been able to bring back to the community. Just like I keep talking about, Baz moved to this community, and and he's availed his skills to us, which is which is terrific going forward. Yes, thanks that guy. Yes, and um, just yeah, some of the the players I've noticed that have returned to the club today, as we mentioned there earlier, Tom Carroll and Brent Daly. Uh, Ricky O'Reilly's here to uh, help Tom unfurl that uh, premiership flag in 82 in the under-19s, Gamain Grong Grong Badong's first flag. And uh, along with um, Laurie Gibson, premiership uh, winning ruckman for the Lions back in 84, who tapped that ball down to Mick Walsh to uh, kick that miraculous goal to put the Lions in front late in the game against uh, Area Park Marool. Yeah, well, Andrew, interesting you mentioned Area Park. Of course, uh, Rowan's wife, I keep talking about that, but Rowan, Rowan's wife, Sophie, well, her, her, the late Jim Prentice was Sophie, Sophie's father, so there's a pedigree there coming ahead. So the game's about to commence here, Turby <laughs> Park. Bulldogs will kick to the right of screen, the lines to the dam and to the left, and it's a scrimmage there and cleared it out of the centre there by Stephen Camp for Turby Park picked up by Tommy Anderson from the Lions gets it on to Tom Susse, handball to Hunter Crozier, he's handball smothered ball's on the ground, charging through his Jesse Lander and the umpire Luke Mazzocchi's picked the, uh, Will O'Connor that is grandson of uh, Rod and Kath Walsh has picked the ball up there but he's caught with the ball it's gone to Aaron Proctor here, he's played on quickly and he's found George Alexander on a lead on the half forward line there, he'll take back, uh, go back and have a shot for the Lions. He's chipped it short, looking for Zach Burhop. Won't be hard to miss today there. Got his customary sunscreen splattered across his nose. And he'll go back and have a shot uh, 30 metres out on a 45 degree angle. Comes in. Kicks on its way. Looks not too bad off the boot. The goal umpire has said it's drifted to the right and it's through for a behind, the first score of the game. So one behind to the Lions here in the opening. Bit of breeze going across the ground. The breeze is at our back, so the breeze is coming across from the west. Ball's brought back in by Will O'Connor, but his kick has found Burhop in front of the scoreboard there. He chips one over the top here and finds Jack McKegg. 50 metres out. He swings, sends this one in, looking for Matty Hamlin, and he's marked the ball right in the pocket there, that forward pocket deep, and it's, uh, he'll go back and have a, a, a shot on goal. A good early touch for Matt Hamlin, who hasn't played for a number of weeks. So he's going to kick there in front of the Harris contracting sign. Of course, those boys very busy in the lead-up prior to this rain, spreading more urea. Going to snap around on his left. The ball's gone wide and out of bounds. And a kick in here for Turvey Park. Tim Doyle will take the kick for Turvey Park. Deep in the pocket there for the Bulldogs. He'll come in front of the, uh, the Bulldogs bench. The ball's gone through the hands of Turvey there and smothered over the line there by uh, Dan Foley. The ball will be thrown in. Throw in there by the young boundary umpire in front of the Ag and Vet guys down there in Waterview Street. Good sponsors. Rucks come together. Good tackle there by Kai Watts. The ball's on the ground and the umpire call for a ball up. Good tight start to the game there. Plenty of pressure. Always a bit of feeling in these games against the Bulldogs, Andrew. Ball tapped down by Dan Foley. Picked up by Kai Watts. Swings this one back inside and in front position there is George Alexander. Takes a mark in front of Josh Ashcroft for the Bulldogs. And he'll go back and have a shot for the Lions. Good kick on the left there, Kai Watts. George Alexander on the lead. Right behind him on this one. I say it every week. When, if George is in front and the ball is delivered a little bit in front of him, virtually unstoppable. 
Kicks on its way, it's drifting to the left and it's an, a miss to the Lions. Lions have all the play in this first five minutes. So the kick in will be come out from the northern goal in front of the... So we've got Elders sponsoring that end of the ground. Elders out there. I think they've shifted out onto Hammond Avenue, haven't they, Andrew? That's correct, Guy, yep. Young Lewington to bring this ball in. He's chipped it wide. It's touched by Watts, who's gathered it on the boundary line. Kicks it into the hot spot. Hunter Crozier over the back. It's gone over his head there. A race for the ball there by McRae from the Bulldogs, but it's gone over the sideline, and so uh, it'll be a throw-in. Throw-in there in front of the sports club sign. Should be a good crowd up the club tonight. Talk about today. Talk about the 40 years past. Ashcroft for Bulldogs. Alexander for the Lions in the ruck. Uh, so Olsen and Wiedemann in the ruck. Taps it down to Tommy Anderson. Ducks under one there. Kicks it up high. Under this is Matty Hamlin. He can't take the mark. And the ball's gone over the sidelines. And they'll be thrown in virtually the same position once again. Yeah, struggling to clear it, but that's not surprising. It's always tight early in these games. Ball's tapped down, grabbed by Tommy Anderson. Over the shoulder there, deems the umpire, and it's a free kick to young uh, Wiedemann there. He kicks this one wide, looking for his teammate there. It's gone over the back, gathered by Zach Burhop. Gets a hand pass to Sam Martin. Gets another one back to Jesse Lander. Sends this one in long over the back there. Under this is Olsen, but he can't mark. It's punched over the sidelines there by Doyle. Another throw in in that pocket. So we've had about four throw ins in the space of two minutes from that attacking pocket area for the Lions. Olsen and Wiedemann in the ruck. Olsen gets a tap down at his feet. Wiedemann tries to get a kick away. Charging forward there is Hagger for uh, Turvey Park. It's a hand pass out. Gathered by him again there, kicks one forward, dropped by Sam Martin there, dives on the ball there, wrapped up in a tackle and the umpire called a ball it up. Ball up just inside the 50, round about the 40 metre mark. Alexander in the ruck on this occasion, taps it down, Burhop has a bit of a fumble there, can't pick it up, gathered by Turvey, hand pass on to uh, his teammate there. Picked up by Hager, he's kicked this one high. Hunter it is, uh, Emery and Taylor. The ball's kicked forward off the ground. Gathered by Turvey, widen that wing by Wiedemann. He swings around, sends this one back. Under it is Taylor and Leary, but Leary takes all a good mark from behind. Looks to play on quickly, chips this one short. Strong lead by uh, Baxter there for uh, Turvey Park. Chips this one short. And on to Wallet, goes through his hands. Josh Waltz gathers it in. Hand pass to Kai Watts. Chips this one over the top, looking for Matty Hamlin on the wing there. He gathers this in. Hand pass this one over the top to Jesse Lander. He's going to send this one in, looking for Olsen. He's on a lead. And marks strongly. A good strong mark in front of Doyle there. And he'll go back and have a shot. Similar position to George Alexander. Yeah, good mark from the veteran also there. He had his name on it as soon as it left the boot. Uh, kick from 30. We're right over his shoulder. Right behind him. You won't get a better view of this. Breeze, negligible. Beautiful. Aut um, late, getting late in the winter now. Beautiful sunny day here for footy. Olsen coming off six goals from last week. Be looking to get registered on the board early here. Kicks on its way. Yeah. It's going to swing back. All the and way. through for a goal, Guy. Straight over the goal umpire's head there. Straight over that Bance and funeral director's... Um, those fellas, those good fellas out there in Wagga, out beyond there, Dobney Avenue. I tell you every week, we, they're people you have to have, but we don't want to see them very often. So, uh, no, a good start for also there. It'll um, always bodes well when you get a touch early in the game, Andrew. Yep, and uh, it was good reward for the Lions. They were peppering the goals there in the first 10 minutes for no, for no goals, but uh, got on the board there on the goals. So Foley and Wiedemann in the ruck there. The ball's on the ground there. Turby Park tried to get it out there, but it's uh, charging through as Rothney there. Gathered by Hunter Crazy, who gets his kick away. Gathered by Hager for Bulldogs. Kicks this one high. Under this is Marn and Emery. Punch cleared by Ben Walsh. Chase Grenell in a race for the ball here for Turby Park. Gets his hand pass away. Goes through the hands of uh, Baxter. On to Jack Sasse, who's cut off by uh, Baxter Wallet, who gets a kick back to Josh Walsh, who cuts it off there for the Lions. Chips one out to his brother, Ben. He's got a long option in Tom Sasse here. Luke Mazzocchi comes in and spoils this one. Gathered by Emery, back to Mazzocchi. 
Onto O'Connor, his chip goes forward there. Young Luke Fellows takes it over the sidelines and it'll be a throw in. Throw in there, will come in there in front of Landmark Narendra. Young Luke Mazzocchi, grandson of uh, Dennis and Maureen Crozier, playing for the Turvey Park Bulldogs. His dad coaches the senior side. Bowley in front here, taps it down to Tom Susser. He's wrapped up in a tackle, gets his hand pass away there. Coming through as O'Connor, gets one out wide looking for Leary. He gathers it in, back to Mazzocchi for Bulldogs. Looks to send this one high. Under this is Fellows and uses his body well and takes a good mark in front of Taylor. Good body work there from the young fella. Sends this one into the hot spot. Under it is Baxter. The ball's on the ground there. Foley tries to pick it up. Can't gather it in. Gathered by Tom Anderson. Clears the ball for the Lions. Out wide there to Matty Hamlin. Takes a mark. He's got Burhop on the run. Puts it out in front of him. Got a paddock in front of him, Andrew. Finds him there. He's got room to run. Leary's on hot pursuit, sends this one down into the forward line. It's going to hit the ground, charging out as Doyle and also. Also is trying to pick it up at his feet there. Can't get hold of it, gets a hand pass back to Rofty there. Chips this one sh into the pocket looking for Kai Watts. He's a race for the ball, two opponents from Turby. Hager and uh, Mazzocchi chase him, gathered by Mazzocchi. He can't get rid of it and it'll be a throw in there on the boundary line. Ball will be thrown in there in front of the Rod Dennis sign. Rod Dennis with those trucks over there on that old Naranda Road. Very busy man, Rod is, with that uh, grain facility out there at Rannock. McKegg for the Lions and Wiedemann for the Bulldogs in the ruck. The ball's on the ground there, coming through as Rofty. Tries to pick it up. It's tackled and tries to get a hand pass out there. No one can get it clear and the umpire will call for a ball up again. So the Beyond Bank scoreboard, Andrew, shows the Lions. One, two, eight. Turby, the Bulldogs yet to score. Jack McKegg punches that one down there to the feet of Rofney. He's trying to pick this one up. Close tension there by Camp from the Bulldogs and the umpire call for another ball up. And of course, we can't forget the, the, um, the main scoreboard at the ground, sponsored by Croker Grain. Great sponsors up there with that facility up at Mara. Ball tapped down there by the Bulldogs. They get a rough kick away there. Leading for the ball is fellow slipping over is Dan Foley. Gets his hand pass away there. Good use of the body there by Rofnig. He's tackled, gets his hand pass out to Hunter Crozier, back to Kirkman, gets a quick kick away. It's been smothered, play on, says the umpire. Kicking inside is uh, Matt Kanagi and finds Luke Parker in the centre, the Lockie Parker, sorry, in the centre of the ground. That's the Sydney Swans Park. He chips it wide to Zach Burhop on that far wing there, getting a bit of the ball. Chips one in short to the half forward there. Tommy Anders takes a sliding mark. Looks to send this one in long. Lions he's got on. George Alexander on a good lead there, but he's covered by two Tilly Park opponents. Hits the ground there. Wrapped up in a tackle there by Jesse Lander. Jack McKegg diving on the ball, and the umpire will call for a ball up in front of the Lions goal there, 30 metres out. Lions using that spread across the centre, Andrew. That's been their trademark, that centre, that half back, spreading, moving, running. Jack McKegg wins the ruck on that occasion, taps it down. Coming forward for the ball is Baxter Warren. He can't pick it up. Goes to ground there, and the umpire will ball it up. Centre half four there, the Lions end. Ground bathed in sunshine now. Perfect conditions for winter footy. Not much breeze out there. Dan Foley wins this one out of the ruck. Kicks it forward there, but it's a good mark to Will O'Connor there in front of Jesse Lander. Kicks this one wide. Looking for his Turvey Park teammate in Young Grigg. He gets the ball, chips one short there to camp. Comes back inside, finds Leary. Turvey looking to use this ball through the centre there. Play on they do. They kick this one high off the side of the booth. Under this is Tommy Anderson. He takes a good mark. Goes back inside there. Finds Lockie Parker. Across the top to Sam Martin. He's got a heap of room in front of him. Finds Burhop on that far wing. Chips one short to Matty Hamlin. Kicks around the corner. Coming on the lead is... George Alexander, he can't hold on to it, kicks a left foot one back inside and finds a lucky call there for Kirkman, who dropped the mark, but the umpire said he'll good, pay it. Good little stat out there. George Alexander was well shepherded by his um, teammate, gave him time to kick. Burhup as the ball comes inside, finds Dan Foley. Lions looking to work this one into the forward line there. Mitch Taylor's pushed down here for the Lions and taken a mark. 30 metres out. Yeah, good mark. He, he, his name was on it 
uh, the minute the left hand Foley's boot, Andrew, because he had his eyes on it, he had a break on his opponent, so he, he'll kick from uh, 40, uh, yeah, not even 45 degrees, so not, not, you couldn't really wish to kick from a better position on the ground, I wouldn't have thought, so uh, distance might only be the only issue. Left foot on its way. It looks good off the boot. It's low, but it's straight. And plenty it's of, a goal for the Lions. Plenty of distance. So that I enjoy to be wrong. And as Andrew said, it was a low trajectory kick with plenty of distance. Just what you want. That was good. Been a good start here for the Lions so far. So that beyond bank scoreboard sees the Lions. Two goals, two, 14. 14 gone. First quarter. Gamain Sports Ground. Tom Sasse coming onto the field for the Lions. Coming to the bench is Zach Burhop, has had a lot of possessions on that far wing. Mitch Taylor's come up to the far wing there for the Lions. Ball's hit the ground. Olsen can't gather it in. Click here by Leary, but marked there by Ben Walsh across half back. Chips this one wide, looking for Sam Martin. Takes it on his chest. Kicks this one downfield to Jack McKegg. Can gather this one in. Fumbles there, he's tackled by O'Connor. Coming through is Tom Susse, and the ball's going over the sidelines. It'll be a throw-in. Ben Walsh is getting himself in that stat sheet again early, Andrew. Yeah, he's the, uh, the swing man back there across half-back. Uh, the interceptor, and um, took a mark on that occasion. Turvey wins the ruck on this occasion now, and it's coming forward there by uh, Mazzocchi, but he takes the ball over the sideline. It'll be a throw-in. So you might be viewing there, you might be wondering why I don't call Ross Smith. Well, Ross Smith is retired, so we, we need to replace that sign. So if anyone knows of a business that'd like a prominent sign here on the fence at the Gamain Sports Ground, get in touch with Michael Quinn. Now O'Connor kicks this one high under it is young Grigg. Kirkman almost takes the mark. Hand pass back by Matt Kanagi. On to Kirkman to Ben Walsh, inside Dolson. Over the top to Matt Kanagi, chips one short to Matty Hamlin in the centre of the ground. He's got Josh Walsh on a lead out from the far wing, ignores him, and kicks this one over the top, looking for George Alexander on a, a long lead there. He can't gather it in. Gathered by uh, Aaron Proctor, chips this one up high to the goal square, and it's Mark Bo O'Connor. He's getting plenty of the ball there for Bulldogs in this first quarter. Comes in short and finds James White there in front of Dan Foley. He's been the mainstay of the uh, Bulldogs' defence. Over As the yet. top to Doyle for the Bulldogs. Kicks this one up high. Under it is Jenkins here. Almost takes the mark. Tries to gather it in. Picked up by Ben Walsh. Gets one away to Matty Hamlin. It's on the ground there. Taps this forward again. Oh, high Rocky on cops thought. one over the shoulder. Yeah. And the umpire's going to call this back. Yeah, it was always high tackle. The player tried to dis disguise it, but umpire five metres away. He couldn't fool him on that occasion. Right in the centre of the ground. He chips one over the top and finds Ben Walsh. Been called to play on there. Cramped for a room here. Kicks this one long and high. Coming out is Dan Foley and takes a good, strong mark on his chest. And he'll go back and have a shot on goal. Once again, Dan, eyes on the ball. The ball the whole time. The whole time it left uh, Ben Walsh's boot. That's all he was thinking about. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to mark it. And he did. But once again, we're right behind him. A little bit more angle, a little bit sharper angle. He's going to come in, probably kick from, he'll kick from inside the 50. Kick's gone off the side of his boot, it's drifting to the right. And a good mark oh. by George Alexander over the back there, deep in the pocket. And he'll go on back and have a kick about 10 metres out on a fairly tight angle. Just caught the Bulldogs players there a little bit, Andrew. The ball carried a bit for, because it was offline, I think they... Didn't think it was going to carry as well, but it carried the pack and George was good enough to do the rest. And then he slots it through for a goal. That's the Lions third. What's the score on the uh, Beyond Bank scoreboard, Guy? Lions, 3-2-20. Bulldogs haven't opened their scoring account yet. 17 gone in the first quarter. Yeah, it's been a dominant 18 minutes so far by the Lions. They've had the majority of the play in their forward line. Yeah, they've, they've converted, they've got a fairly high conversion rate for their entries. Sam, Coach Sam Martin be pleased about that. <laughs> Olsen and Grindle in the ruck. Grindle could say won that tap and uh, Wiedemann's wrapped up the tackle, gets a kick away, is Grindle. Um, 
Tackled there about the ball is uh, Fellows, but he's play on to the umpire. And it's a good mark there by Sam Martin going back with the flight of the ball. He'll be happy with that one. He chips it across to the far pocket and finds Tom Sasse. On to Matt Kanagi there. He gathers it in. Back to Sasse. Kicks out wide looking for Kirkman there. He's got Will O'Connor charging through. Both players collide. Play on, says the umpire. O'Connor gathers this one in. Gives a hand pass back into Hager there. He gets to send this one back in for the Turvey Park Bulldogs. Baxter on the league and it's taken a good strong mark under plenty of pressure there from three Lions opponents. And he'll go back and have a shot on goal. Can he make it, Andrew, from there? I think he'd be certainly a chance of making it, Guy, from that distance. Pretty good kick. Flags on the Croker Grain scoreboard suggest there's a lull in the bruise at the moment, so it's probably a good time for him. Ex Ainsley and Narendra player coming in. Try and give the Bulldogs their first score of this first quarter. The kick's on its way. It's looking good. It's going to fall short, though. And it's a good mark by Olsen in the goal square there. Wiedemann jumped early. Over the top to Jack Sussay. Takes a mark on that half-back flank. He reels around and plays on. Lions looking to play on quickly today. Finds his brother Tom. Chips one short. Looking for uh, Lockie Parker. Ball's gone past him, but he wraps up uh, Josh on Ashcroft in a tackle on that far wing. We'll have a throw in out there in front of uh, Bill Rather's uh, sign there. Bill Rather's carpet cleaning. So after this wet winter, book him up. He'll be very busy in the spring, I'd reckon. Yes, yeah, talking to Bill there today. He's here at the game watching. Ball thrown in. Olsen in the ruck there, but it's deemed to be a push in the back there and a free kick to uh, Grintle there for uh, Turvey Park. Chips this one long and finds Grigg there in the centre of the ground. He looks to play on. Kicks this one low and Emery drops a mark. Gathered by Leary. Kicks this one high to the hot spot. Sitting under it is Olsen. And he takes a mark there. Plenty of lines, numbers back in defence on that occasion. Olsen showing you he can mark him at either end of the ground, Andrew. Chips this one to the pocket of Josh Walsh. He can go over the top to his brother, Ben. Finds him on the half-back flank. Back inside to Zach Burhoff. Looking to run this through the centre of the ground. He's kicked smothered there. Play on, says the umpire. Grab the by White. Back to Mazzocchi. On to Emery. Back to White. He'll have a sh kick forward. And he's found uh, Rhett Wiedemann in the pocket there for the Bulldogs. A mistake there by the Lions. Kick smothered and a turnover. And uh, Yeah, good lead from the, the Bulldogs player there. And well spotted up by his opponent. And uh, this really should be pretty reasonable shot for him. Once again, we're behind it at the opposite end of the ground. We're at the... He's going to kick at the southern end of the ground, the Waterview Street end. Comes in. Nice run up on that left foot. Straight over the goal umpire's head. You've seen it. We don't have to call it. That's a goal to the... An opener for the Bulldogs. Yeah, both sides trying to use the centre corridor, but on that occasion it didn't work out for the Lions. And the ball was quickly turned over and uh, resulted in a goal to the Bulldogs. Their first for the quarter. There's been some good even tussles out there so far. George Alexander and Doyle up forward. Lions going with a smaller half forward line there and Lockie Parker and Hunter Crozier. So the Beyond Bank scoreboard, the Lions 3-2-20, Bulldogs one goal straight, six. 23, four minutes gone, something like that. Olsen and Wiedemann in the ruck. Olsen taps this one back to Aaron Proctor. He's wrapped up in a tackle. Gets his hand pass away to Jesse Lander. Kicks this one higher. Under this is Matty Hamlin. Punched away by Harry Woods there for the Bulldogs. Gathered by Hamlin there. He's wrapped in a tackle. Umpire deemed to be over the shoulder. Calls play on there. Kick by Jesse Lander. Looking for a Lockie Parker. Deep in the, the half forward flank there for the Lions. He'll go back and take a shot on goal. But George Alexander way over the back. Coming in short here, looking for Olsen. It's gone over his head and it's gone to Leary for the Bulldogs there. Bulldogs look to switch. Chip one over the top, looking for Emery. He can't mark. Gathered by Her Burhop there again. Passes it off to uh, Taylor. Chips this one low and short. The end of the quarter. So quarter time here at the Gamain Sports Ground. Young Hunter Crazy is going to have a, a shot on goal. But uh, over the sidelines and out on the full. Did he attempt the barrel there, Andrew? I wasn't yeah, quite I'd watching. Yeah, i so. he attempted the barrel there. Probably never 
practiced one in his life, young Hunter. But no, well, I don't think they encourage those kicks anymore, not like back in the day, but well, we'll have a break for a couple of minutes and then we'll be back with the second quarter. So we're back, we wait for the start of the second quarter, we wait till the spectators clear the ground, players resume their positions. Andrew, can you see any changes yet? No, no changes for the Lions. Um, the three fellas that started on the bench have returned to the bench for the start of this second quarter. And Turby Park looks pretty familiar, similar positions to how they started the game as well. <laughs> Foley against Wiedemann, the ruck. Wiedemann wins the ball down on that occasion. Picked up by Aaron Proctor there. Gets a hand pass. No, he can't get his hand pass away. And he's wrapped up in a tackle there. A strong tackle and uh, umpire will ball it up once again. Not a lot of crowd noise today, Andrew. We might have to go around half time and tell them they've got to lift it a little bit for this yeah, big game. Yeah, the day wears on, they'll probably get a little bit more courage. And the ball's kicked forward by Turby Park here. And it's a good mark by Emery in front there of uh, Kirkman. And Turvey Park uh, will go back and have a chance to uh, get the score on the board early in this second quarter. Yeah, a bit of size and height advantage there for the, for the Bulldogs man. So, uh, so he's going to kick from 35, dead in front. Shouldn't be a drama for him. As he comes in on his run up, unloads on that right foot really only stabbed at it. It, it, yeah. it is a goal but he um, snuck it through for a goal guy. He only What's stabbed at stab, it. Stab kick but I suppose that, that's all that matters. So it's a good start for Turvey. First goal on the goal, scoreboard. Beyond bank scoreboard the Lions 3-2-20. Bulldogs two goals straight. Minute and a half gone second quarter. Turvey Park playing with a forward line there, lined up each behind each other. Down the line, spread out in their forward line. Wiedemann over the top on that occasion, but no one can get this one clear. And Aaron Proctor wraps up James White there in the centre of the ground. Umpire throws this up. Wiedemann wins that tap down again. Punches it forward there, running on it as his cousin, uh, Ethan Wiedemann, but he can't gather it in there and the umpire will ball it up. Rep, the brother of Guy, Ethan, the, uh, sorry, the son of Guy, Ethan, the son of uh, Shane. Now, Pye's got to ball it up once again. No one can get clear. Yeah, stale all contested. around. Might pick out a free kick in a minute. That'll clear the area. Wiedemann uses his body well and wins that one down. Gathered by Burhop, tapped back by Sasse there. Coming through as Martin. He can't hold on to it. Picked up by Tom Sasse. Can't get his kick away there. And umpire's doomed his hell without possession of the ball, and he'll take the free kick across half back there for the Lions. Looks to play on quickly. Finds Sam Martin here. Chips this one back inside. That dangerous kick, but he finds Hunter Crozier. Chips one short, looking for Matt Hamlin on a lead, and he's marked in front of Harry Woods. He's about 55 metres out. Tui Park get back in numbers there. Looks to kick this one long. Sitting underneath it is Olsen. He's held on to here, and the umpire's deemed a. Free kick, and uh, it'll go to Olsen there. Tim Doyle just holding him on that occasion and uh, worrying his uh, Bulldogs opponent there, and he'll go back and have a shot on goal, Olsen. Not hard to give away a free kick in that uh, situation, Andrew, like you're trying your best to stop also marking it, and it's just it's not hard to infringe against him. He's so strong in the air. Interesting, that kick that uh, Sam Martin spotted up, Hunter Crozier, Hunter... Um, yeah, that's what Sam Martin does. He spots up players that are clear, and um, so you, you really got to be prepared. He'll he'll uh, he'll deliver it to you. Olsen and puts that one straight through the middle, guy. That's his second of the game. So down there at that uh, that end of the ground, we've we've got sponsor there, Mark Bradley from uh, with that Coolman Plumbing business. Well, I talk about that every week. It's always very hard to get those tradies too so you've got to get in early if you've got a plumbing problem and get well ahead of the problem beyond banks scoreboard the Lions 4-2-26 Bulldogs two goals straight four minutes gone second quarter Foley and Wiedemann in the ruck once again 
No one can win the ruck on that occasion. Gathering in the ball there is Tom Anson. Gets his hand pass back to Aaron Proctor. Gets a quick kick away, but it's marked by Young Lewington there in the centre of the ground. He looks to play on. Chips one over the top. Aaron Proctor gets a hand on it. Back to Leary there. Kicked in by Will O'Connor. It's gone off the side of his boot there, and it's marked by uh, Kirk Marn there for the Lions. Goes wide on this occasion. And Ball's in front of Jesse Lander there. Gathers it in there. Turns and swings onto his left foot. Sends this one in looking for George Alexander. But Harry Woods has marked this one over the back. He plays on. Kicks it wide. Finds Wiedemann there. Kicks it long looking for Emery. But this one's going to roll over the sidelines there. And it'll be a throw in. So it's, so it's going to be thrown over there. Thrown in in between uh, the air. The Stephen Patterson there and the Cobb Apparel. Co of course, Cobb Apparel um, organises all that... Uh, Merchandise gear for the Lions, that uh, promotion gear, the caps, the jackets. It's terrific to see people and the young people wearing the, the club's kit, Andrew. Foley takes that one out of the ruck, tries to get a hand pass away to Aaron Proctor. Back to Foley, on to Burhop, gets his hand pass back inside, but it's smothered by Lewington there. On to uh, Wiedemann there. Uh, fellow, sorry, you can't pick it up. On to White there, dodges around opponents there, wrapped up in the tackle. The smothered by Ben Walsh there, coming through is Dan Foley, with deemed to catch his... Uh, Opponent there, young Lewington High, and he'll go back and take a kick uh, for 50 metres out. He looks to play. He's told to go back and take his kick. No one on the mark there for the Lions. Get the impression it might be on. He's looking to pass this one off. Yeah, I think he feels the distance is a little bit much for him. And to send this long to the square, but the kick smothered by Watts. Gathered by Jack Susse, hand pass out to Burhop, on to Ben Walsh, chips this one over the top there, finds uh, Matty Hamlin, comes inside there looking for Martin and Crozier, Martin gathers it at his feet, back to Hamlin, he gathers one in, dodges around one, kicks this one forward now, and he'll find McRae for Turvey there across half back. Ball's gone on to Ashcroft, he's kicked one off the side of his boot, it's racing towards the sideline here. James White picks it up for Turby Park. Goes to swing back inside and finds uh, Wiedemann in the centre of the ground. He looks to play on. He's got Lewington. Bulldogs players free everywhere here. Charging off halfback is Harry Woods. Sends this one in long and low. It's racing towards the goal square. And it's gone through for a goal. It's beaten all of them, Andrew. It had a number of breaks on it, had more breaks than a Shane Warne delivery, but it eventually it got over the line. So the Beyond Bank scoreboard sees the Lions. 4-2-26, the Bulldogs keeping their kicking straight. Three, three, three straight goals, 18. Seven minutes gone. Yeah, the Lions are getting challenged here by Turvey at the moment. Turvey have come out firing this quarter, Andrew. Got to, must have given them a bit of sting at quarter time. Olsen's come into the ruck in this cone. Griddle gets the tap down. Can't pick it up. And he's been pushed in the back there. Free kick to Turvey in the centre of the ground. He'll go back and take his kick. Plays on quickly. Looking for Emery, but it's cut off by Jesse Lander. Ball's on the ground there. Gathered by Fellows. Gets a hand pass back to Leary. Back to Fellows. On to Wiedemann. And it's another shot on goal here. And it's gone over the back of the pack and through for behind there. Jack Susse to bring this back in for the Lions. First. Finds Kirk Marn across half back there. He's held up. Not First. much movement from the Lions. First behind for the Bulldogs. Chips it over the top and finds Aaron Proctor. He looks to find someone. There's not the Lions are very stagnant there at the moment. There's not much run and carry like that first quarter. Dan Foley's pushed in the back there, pushed his opponent in the back, and it's a free kick to Turvey Park there. Kicks this one inside. Matt Hamlin under this. Gone through his hands there. Numbers for Turvey Park. They can't pick it up. Picked up by Kai Watts. Chips the right foot one over wide. Finds Matt Kanagi. Looks to play on now. Chips it over the top. Running on is Matt Hamlin there and marks it in the on the true wing position in front of the uh, the broadcasting box. Comes back inside low. It's at the feet of Burhop. Swings around Wiedemann. Sends this one in long and low, but. Sitting in the hole there is Harry Woods. He drops a mark. Picked up by O'Connor there. Kicks this one on. High. Out wide and finds uh, Mazzocchi. He looks to come inside and finds Emery there. He's got room to run and play on here, which he does. And looks for Baxter on the lead. He goes up one hand. Can't hold it. 
Josh Walsh gathers this in, in, kicks it wide to his brother Ben, all on his own there in front of the scoreboard. Comes back inside looking for Jack Susse. Hand pass on to Sam Martin. Chips this one long and low looking for Hunter Crozier. Diving mark, 60 metres out from goal from the Lions. Lions have probably got to work on their rotations, getting some fresh legs on the ground. They've got a few couple of blokes out there that haven't played for quite a while. George Alexander tries to drive this one through, but it's gone through from behind. Beyond Banks scoreboard, Lions 4 3 27, Bulldogs 3 1 19. Doyle to bring this one in for Turvey Park. Sends this one up the guts to numbers there. George Alexander's under this one and takes a good strong mark. The centre of the ground. Tips this one over the top looking for Tommy Anderson. It's gone over his head and marked by Ashcroft there. He plays on quickly to Fellows. Looks to come through the centre there, but under this is Taylor for the Lions. Takes a mark there. Goes to swing wide, looking for Burhop on that far wing. He's got Ben Walsh on the half forward line. Chips it over the top to him, and he marks 50 metres out, plays on. Chips this one short, finds Dan Foley on a strong lead there, and he'll have a shot on goal. Those Bermandy, those Bermandy Road, Cowalby boys, Andrew linking up there on that occasion. Yeah. Good to see. The Walsh and Foley's strong, traditional, grong grong, madong people. Dan Foley comes in with his kick, and this one's gone wide and out on the full. So it's gone over the full there, out on the full, so the... the He'll be uh, kick, He'll be. He'll have to kick it in, right up against the point post in front of the bowling club. Now the bowling club sell those um, meat raffle tickets up at the sports club on Friday night. Those ones are Baz wins. So get yourself up there if you want to get a meat tray. Ashcroft to bring this one in. Under this is Martin and Jack McKeg. O'Connor almost marks. Balls on the ground there. Punched forward by Jack McKeg. Picked up by Roffley. He's wrapped up in a tackle. Gets his hand pass away to Kai Watson. He. Runs on and kicks a goal for the Lions, a much needed goal. Good determination there from Michael Rothney on to Kai Watts. Yon Bank scoreboard, the Lions 5 3 33, Bulldogs 3 1 19, 12 minutes gone, second quarter. Yeah, bit, bit better passage there from the Lions, Andrew, and they're able to um, gather it from the turvy kick in there. Yes, the turnovers and today on both sides have seen resulting goals for their opponents. Back in the centre of the ground, Olsen and Grintle on this occasion. Olsen wins the tap down to Tommy Anderson. He's got his hand pass away there, but gathered by uh, Irvine there for uh, Turvey. Drives this one in low. Baxter can't mark it. Picked up by Jack Susse. On to Kirkman to Ben Walsh. Chips this over the top there and finds Lockie Parker. He kicks this one low, looking for Burhop on that far wing, just marks it inside the ground by inches. Those two are racking up possessions, Andrew, also. Yeah. Chips it back inside to Kirkman, on to Rothney, sends this one looking for Matty Hamlin. It's at his feet now. Kicked off the ground by Harry with smothered there, out the back to Matty Hamlin, comes charging through, picks it up. Hand pass to Tommy Anderson, gathers this in, has a shot on goal there, and he's missed to the side. Another behind for the Lions. The Lions 5-4-34. Bulldogs 3-1-19. Plenty of time left in the quarter for the Bulldogs to put on a couple more. Keep, keep in contact with the Lions. Doyle to bring this one in. Going to go wide to the far side of the scoreboard side. Sitting under this is Ben Walsh and Emery. Gets a good shove out of the way. Play on, says the umpire. Burhop's gathered this in. Comes inside looking for Kirkman. Marked it in the centre of the ground there. Olsen, sorry. Kicks this one long and finds uh, Mitch Taylor inside 50 there. And he'll go back and have a shot 50 metres out. So the bench... 45 degree angle. The um, selector bench below us, you heard it. They're calling out for... Uh, for him to have a shot, he's going to have to release it from outside the 50. That really shouldn't be a problem. Minimal breeze, a little bit of breeze over his right shoulder. He'll allow for that. Got to go back and have his kick. Corey recorded one so far. Ball's high, it's long, it's going to land in the... S over the top, yeah. and it's a great goal. 
Great goal to Mitch Taylor there. Good run up, nice run up, Andrew. Deliberate, um, drop, clean drop onto the boot. Ball got plenty of height in it. Didn't matter because it was good enough to uh, carry the distance. So uh, yeah, good, good, good to see those skills, those kicking skills. That's. He's Tickle. having a very consistent season for the Lions, the boy from Bathurst. Always great to see goals kicked outside the 50. Ben Walsh has been involved today, but I, I imagine the Lions would like to see him get a lot more of the ball. He's generally playing on a smaller opponent, but he's picked up Emery on this occasion. But yeah, he's just been nullified by, been by taking wide in the contest. But now he's back more at centre-half back. Olsen taps this down, charging through as Tommy Anderson. He can't pick it up. Jesse Lander gathers it in, hand passes over the top, gathered by Darcy Irvine. He's wrapped up in a tackle. It's gone out wide to Stephen Camp for the uh, Bulldogs. Sends this one high under this is Matt Kanagi. Takes a good strong mark. Looks to bring this wide. He's got Michael Roffney in front of the uh, sheds here. He takes the mark, swings back around, sends this one in low. Finds Kai Watts. Lions controlling the ball well here. He's got Burhop on that far half forward flank. No one manning him up. He can run into a goal here. Sends it on his way. Over the back. It's gone and through from behind. Another behind for the Lions. Lions 6 5 41. Bulldogs 3 1 19. Harry Woods to bring it in for the uh, Bulldogs here. Kicks wide and finds Hager there on that uh, far half back flank. He looks to come inside, but he's been cut off there. Keeps this low and finds Baxter, who's pushed way up the field there for Turvey. Kicks this one down the wing again. Good lead for the ball there from Wiedemann. Takes a strong mark in front of Jack Sasse. Yeah, good mark under pressure. Kicks this one up for Ben Walsh, but it's cut off by Olsen there and punches it over the sidelines. We're going to see a throw in out there in front of the Logan Hitchin sign. Tell you every week, great sponsors of the club. Of course, Barry Logan, the initial president of the Amalgamated Club, Andrew, so uh, back in the day and, yep. and still involved today. Along with Ian Ferguson there today, I see Guy, who was the Grong Grong Manong president. That's at right. The time. Umpire's called to throw this one back yeah, in. He's again. not happy with the. So he's, uh, he's asked the boundary umpire to come in a few metres. So. Ball's low and flat, and Roffney makes a tackle there. The umpire's going to say, Give it to me, I'll ball it up. So the play's right out there in front of the Croker Grain scoreboard. Olsen uses his body and gathers that one out of the ruck. It's smothered, kicked up high by Roffney there. Going through the hands, over the back to Jesse Lander there. Kicks this one along. George Alexander shoved out of the way. Play on to the umpire. Aaron Proctor's held onto it. He can't get control of it. Back to Ashcroft there. Hand passes one forward. Hit the ground of Baxter. Gathered by, uh, can't see that. Jesse Lander there. Tips one back inside to Michael Roffney. And he'll go back and have a shot on goal. Lions trying to, gradually getting on top here in late in this uh, second quarter. Yeah, the Bulldogs under a lot of pressure there in that uh Passage of play, more pressure than Clive Palmer's belt buckle. So um, they, they eventually turned it over. The Lions just harangued them, harangued them, and they, they turned it over. Too many, and uh, even though they had numbers, the Lions just uh, kept at it and at it, and he ended up. So he's coming in, kicked on his right foot. Goal Kick umpire doesn't good. move. It's a goal. The lad from Orange has recorded a goal there, Michael Roffney. Takes the Lions, 7-5, 47. Bulldogs 3-1-19. I keep talking about that Croker game, the, the Croker grain, the scoreboard at the ground, Andrew. Of course, Greg Carroll, he's the principal there at Croker. He played in the Maroons Premiership in 76, and then he finished his career at the Bulldogs, I think, from memory. Yeah, had a son play for the Bulldogs. Foley and Wiedemann in the ruck. Wiedemann gets up over the top, down to James White. He couldn't take possession there. Tapped out by Brofty, on to Matty Hamlin. It's the old one two to Dan Foley, back to Matty Hamlin there. Chips this one over the top and finds Aaron Proctor on a lead. Good play there by the Lions. Matty Hamlin's getting the feel of it, Andrew, after that layoff with that injury. And he's chipped this one over the top and finds Tommy Anderson a little bit closer to goal. Mick Mazzocchi, the Bulldogs coach, won't be happy with the, the Bulldogs not paying attention to their, uh, well, enough attention. Need more close contact than that to stop these Lions, boys. Tommy Anderson will go back and have a shot for the Lions. Comes in. Kicks on its way. He likes it. 
Umpire likes it. It's a goal. It's another one for the Lions. What's the score on the Beyond on? Bank scoreboard, Guy? Lions 8-5, 53, Bulldogs 3-1, 19. 19, uh, yeah, 20 minutes gone now, so... Uh, there's time, time for the Bulldogs, but they haven't got... They had the runner play at the start of the quarter, Andrew, but they... The, the Lions have come over the top of them, cut that run out in, this, in the last half of this quarter. Yeah, the, the Bulldogs, you're right, Guy, they did start that quarter, the second quarter, well. And they were dominant there in the first 10 minutes, and now it's all been the Lions in the second half of this second quarter. Foley taps that down, coming through is Rofty there. He ducks under a tackle, kicks this one high. Under it is Jesse Lander, but it's a good strong mark there by Will Connor. Not Play paid, on, says must, the umpire. must have been touched, was it? Yeah, must have been touched, so it's going to be a ball up there. Foley and uh, Reed him in the ruck. Foley grabs that out of the ruck there. Kicks this one high. Sitting under it is Emery. Takes a good mark. Play on, says the umpire. Not 15. Back out the back to Ashcroft. Swings on his left foot there and finds Jenkins in front of the broadcasting box. He looks to move it on quickly. He's got backs to Wallet on the lead there. He can't hold the mark. It's gone through the hands. Gathered by Will O'Connor. Back to Mazzocchi. On to Wallet. Going on to Jenkins there. Turby getting this one forward. Under this is Dan Foley. He sits under it and takes a mark there. Looks to switch. Matty Hamlin slips in a crucial stage there. And so does Baxter for uh, Turby there. Gathered by White. Goes wide looking for Hager there. Turby regained the ball here. They've got Leary over the back one. No one manning him up. Goes in short there looking for Wallet. He takes a good mark there in front of Foley and... Uh, Kirk Mann. I mentioned in the pre grap in the pre-match, that there was a, yeah, a few slippery patches on the ground and we won there, we saw, not making an excuse for him, but Matty Hamlin couldn't um, couldn't hold his feet there. So but um, so we'll give him that, we'll let him off there. Of course, he's finding his way back after injury also, but uh, he's had a few touches this quarter, which is good to see. The Baxter Wallet will line up. Have to kick this about 50, 50 metres. Very good kick, schoolboy. It's on its way. It's going to drift to the right. Under this is Olsen. It's almost marked. It is marked by, by Corey Baxter over the back there. Very good mark. There's a good, in, good thing there for the, any young person that's watching here, Andrew. Keep your eyes on the ball. Like you're never out of it with your eyes on the ball. You, you might end up with it, and that's what he did. Plays on and uh, puts this one through. Chips around the corner and it's a goal to Turvey Park. An answer to that early flurry from the Lions. Uh, the Lions will be disappointed there in defence. They had the talls there, but uh, we're our marked oh. on that occasion. Um. So the Lions now still 8 5 53. Bulldogs are picking up a bit, 4 1 25. There's 23 gone. So possibly still, possibly still time for either side to score again this quarter. Foley and William in the ruck. The ball's tapped down there, charging through Jesse Lander. Aaron Proctor can't pick it up. Grab it by White there. He's wrapped up in a tackle there. And the umpire is deemed uh, caught with the ball. Umpire that's off the ball there. Nathan Brooks has called a free kick there to the Lions. Dan Foley to take the kick in the centre of the ground. Looks to come this side of the score, the, the broadcasting box to Aaron Proctor. On to Mitch Taylor, sends this one long and at high. There's Matty Hamlin in the skull square. He can't take the mark. Off the ground there by Michael Rofty, and it's a goal. It's a goal to the Lions. All clear, is it, Andrew? Yep. Quick reply from the Lions here. That takes the Lions. Well, I've got them 9-5-59. The Bulldogs 4-1-25. But the, the board here at the ground has got the Lions 9-4. So we'll, we'll uh, check that up at half time, which was very close now. 24 minutes gone. Matty Hamlin comes to the bench and onto the ground is Zach Burhop. Foley and Wiedemann in the ruck. Wiedemann's well, been giving a good contest in there for Turby Park. It's gone down to the feet of Jesse Lander. He can't pick it up. It's gathered by Tommy Anderson. Gets a hand pass out to Jack McKegg. Haven't seen much of Jack today. He can't pick that one up. Chipping through is Tom Sasse there. He's got the ball in front of him. Almost over the sideline there. And the umpire will give a free kick. 
Deemed high there, and Tom Susso will take the kick. Looks to send this one in, and it's kicked up high, and under it is all Turvey Park there, but they can't take the ball. It's gone over the back onto Jesse Lander there from a hand pass to Lockie Parker, and he's missed a goal. It's gone through from behind. Let off. miss there for the Lions. Let off there from the Bull, Bulldogs because they turned it over. There was three of them. They could have raffled the mark. Lewington to bring this in for Turvey Park. Comes to the uh, club side there. It's a low kick, almost gathered by McRae, but he's doomed to be uh, contact there high, and he'll get the free kick. Go to bring this back for Turvey. Runs around his opponent there in park and kicks this one up high. Under it is Fellows, gone through his hands. Hits the ground, charging through his Ashcroft. Gets his hand pass away. Coming through his uh, Wiedemann. Gone through the hands of Martin onto Fellows. Turvey running here. Picked up by Jenkins. He tries to break a tackle. Gets one back to uh, Burhop. He's hit high. Play on, says the umpire. Connor's got the ball. Gets this one back behind, looking for camp. On to Lewington. He's wrapped up in a strong tackle by Wiedemann there. And the umpire will ball it up. Young Lewington there. Michael Rofty wrapped him up in a strong tackle. And... Uh, A little bit, um, a bit knocked bit around after that one. He might have dislocated the shoulder there. Yeah, by the it's of got it. that look about it, Andrew. Umpires to throw it back up again. Foley and Wiedemann in the ruck. Foley taps this one over the back. Looking for Rofney. He's charging through. George Alexander tries to pick it up. Gathered by White. Kicks this one around the corner. Under it is Kirk Marnie. He gathers it in. He's got uh, Josh Walsh clear on that far side. Chips this one over the top. Looking for Burhop in the centre of the ground. On to Josh Walsh there. Lions switching this one well, but on a long, strong lead there is Jack McKegg. It's gone over his head there. Coming out is Doyle. He's gathered this one up. Wrapped up in a tackle there by Jack McKegg. A good tackle. And the umpire called for a ball up. Turvey were away then, but it's a good tackle by Jack McKegg. Olsen taps this one down straight to Doyle. Kicks this one out wide. Under it is Tom Susse. He can't mark the ball and it's gone over the sideline. Throw in there. Throw in there in front of the Gamain Hotel because the hotel down there under new management. Management, So we welcome Noel Ahern. I haven't met his wife yet, but Noel and his wife have bought the hotel down there. Olsen taps that down there, gathered by uh, Camp. And he's kicked this one over the sideline and uh, Gamain players calling for deliberate and the umpires mm. said it was. And there may be a little bit of dissent in that as well. So he's marched in 50 metres. Doesn't pay to give dissent nowadays. They're pretty quick to pay that against you to, uh, to uh, keep so it Kirk in check. Kirk to take the kick here. <laughs> so he'll take the kick after the siren. Uh, he's probably going to kick from around the 50, is it, Andrew, I think? Yeah, he's going to have to have a, out of that 50 metre line. He's going to go for the drop punt, Kirk. A little bit of breeze in his face. Going to use every metre he can get. The kick's high. It's looking not too bad, but it just falls short and through from behind. So the behind won't count, will it? Because it kicks after the siren? Or what's, what's happening? No, I don't get the impression it does count, does it? Or? I saw the field that work out. He's... He hasn't, yes? Yes, yep, it should count, it was punched through. Yep. So we'll be back with the third quarter shortly. Third quarter, that uh, scoreboard's been adjusted guide, 9762 to 4125. And uh, Sam Martin will be looking for his troops to st stick to the game plan in this uh, second half. Uh, when they go away from that game plan, they uh, seem to falter. Andrew, you, did you go in the sheds at half time? Just, just yep. caught that conversation that uh, right. they're looking to, yeah, wants the side to stick to their game plan and not to dr drift away from that. So we've got those players coming back from uh, weeks, a few weeks of injuries, so that as the as the, as the quarter went on, I think you could see some of those guys uh, yeah, more, more involved with the play, getting the feel of it, Andrew. Yeah, well, 
Matt Hamlin and Tom Susse haven't played for a number of weeks, and um, although the Lions did look a little bit out on their feet early in that second quarter, they. Um, <laughs> Rallied again to in that the second half of the second quarter, and um, yeah, be looking to um, try and get those two fellas through the game without any issues. Yeah, well, of course that's where those rotations come into it, don't they? Like with uh, if you're starting to knock up a little bit, you put your hand up, and uh, I know they had the rotations worked out prior to the game, but um, that can change as the game goes along. So uh, so it won't be long. We'll get a start here in the third quarter. A little bit more breeze across the ground, and um, we've noticed out the back door of the commentary position here, away in the southwest, that it's, uh, it's probably showering a little bit. So, I don't know whether the shower might, hopefully, the shower misses us. Not that it'll worry us up here, we'll be dry. But, um. so Kanagi, Watt, and Parker come to the bench for the Lions. Umpire waits for the players to get in their positions. Dan Foley to start in the ruck for the Lions. Jacob Olsen, George Alexander, Matty Hamlin and Hunter Crozier deep in the square for the Lions. Across half forward, Jack McKeg and Michael Rothney for the Lions. Not too many to <laughs> Josh Ashcroft coming into the middle of the ground there for Turvey Park and no one can get possession that first ball up, so umpire Nathan Brooks call for it again to throw it up in the centre of the ground. Wiedemann and Foley in the ruck. Foley taps this one forward wide, looking for Tom Susse. He can't gather it in. It's gone out to Jesse Lander. He dives on the ball, picked up by Tom Susse. Out to Kirk Mann. Chips one over the top, looking for Tommy Anderson, who takes a good mark. Tests out that shoulder on that occasion, but takes a mark. Stretched right out for that one. Goes back. Tries to play on, can't get around his opponent, kicks this one high. Up flies Rothney, almost takes the mark. It's on the ground there, gathered by Turvey Park. Gets this ball out to the wing there. Numbers for the Lions there, marked by Kirk Mann. Looks to come inside there. He'll have to send this one back long and deep to the Lions. Although he chips over the top there, but it's cut off by uh, Josh. Ashcroft for Turvey and it's out over the sidelines there and it'll be a throw in there on that far wing. So once again our sponsors over there, Bill Rava for, with his carpet cleaning business and Stephen Patterson with his bobcat there from Coolerman. <coughs> we welcome all those sponsors. Wiedemann and Foley in the ruck. Foley with front position taps that one down to uh, Tom Susse. He's wrapped up in a tackle there and the umpire call for a ball up. So we're going nowhere fast, Andrew. No score in the third quarter. Ball's tapped down. Picked up by Turby Park. Inside here to Hager. He comes across the field there looking for uh, Camp. Takes a mark. McRae's run on here for Turby Park. Kicks this one into the half forward line. Under this is Ben Walsh. He takes a good strong mark. Plays on there. Kicks over the top to Zach Burhop. Chips this one over the top to uh, Mitch Taylor. He runs onto this one there. Sends it in long, looking for uh, Olsen. Uses his body well and takes a strong mark. Got a bulldog. Go back and have a shot on goal. Got the Bulldogs player still on the ground over on that half forward flank for the, for the Bulldogs, but seeking trainer's assistance. But. Um, He's been down for a while. I don't think it was anything malicious. It was probably just in the play. So he's whether he's winded or not, we'll see. But um, Olsen to come in with his kick, having a shot at goal. Ball's on its way and it's straight through the middle. Quick reply, quick goal for the Lions. Start of the third quarter. So a goal. It's Olsen's third goal at the northern end to Olsen. The Beyond Bank scoreboard sees the Lions 10-7-67. Bulldogs 4-1-25. Bulldogs player still down there, Andrew, on the inside the square, on the other side of the ground. So um, play might be held up a little bit here for a minute. I think it might be young young Wallet, Baxter Wallet, um, hip injury or upper leg. Not not calling for the stretcher. He's attempting to get up at the moment and. Uh, 
I think he'll have to come off though. Whether he caught a knee or a... Might be able to pick it up in the replay later perhaps. He's going to make his way to the bench there. And umpire will just wait a few minutes for him to get to the sideline. He's got the his young Ashcroft, Ashcroft's come into the centre for the Bulldogs. White is there as well. Wiedemann, young fellows, is in there. Just a lull in the proceedings here. The umpire could probably throw it up. Maybe out of the way. Nathan Brooks goes to bring it back after that goal for the Lions. Foley and Wiedemann in the ruck. Foley taps this one back down, gathered by Tom Anderson. The Lions having the better of those centre clearances. Out to Jack McKegg. Can't pick this one up. At his feet, coming through is Tom Susso for a help. And uh, the umpire's going to deem that he's dived on the ball. And it's a free kick there to... Uh, Young O'Connor looks to switch here for Turvey. It's cut off. He's going to go back wide. Young Irvine finds Hager there on that far side. Turvey just held up here, looking for options. Chips one over the shot, top and finds Leary. Takes a mark in front of uh, Tom Anderson. Just stagnant in their movement forward here, Turvey at the moment. Looking for best options. Going to go backwards now, finds Doyle. Deep there for Turby. Going to switch wide now. Camp's on his own out wide here. Olsen's going to cut this one off. He can't make it. Passed on to McRae here. Kicks this one high. Under it is Emery and Walsh. Ball back to Proctor. Chips one short. Finds Sam Martin there. At centre half back for the Lions. Goes short to Dan Foley. Marks it there just off the centre of the ground. Goes in short there, low to Matty Hamlin at his feet. He can't gather this one. He's bumped out of the way there. Picked up by uh, Mazzocchi there. Kicks this one forward and finds Baxter. Baxter chips this one over the top. Sam Martin spoils this one. Oh, He's high caught tackle. one high. And yeah. he'll get a free kick there. Be, be a free kick there to Sam Martin in that uh, back pocket position. He's, uh, the players caught him high after, that, uh, after he punched that ball away. He's copped a near massage there from Emery, but he'll take his kick. Ticks this one short to Josh Walsh. He's taking a little bit out of Sam there, Andrew, that knock. Yeah, this one goes wide to Matty Hamlin. He's got to keep a space in front of him. Two, three bounces. Goes to give one over the top. Chips in short there to Alexander. No one can gather that in. It's gone through legs there. Gathered by Alexander. Back inside to Tommy Anderson. Back to Proctor. He can't pick it up. He's pushed in the back. Play on says the umpire there and he's got a free kick. At centre half forward there. Outside the 50. In fact he's probably going to kick from inside the centre square so he'll uh, he's going to look for options. Sam Martin's coming to the bench there for the Lions. Aaron Proctor sends this one long and high there. Play on, says the umpire. Picked up by Rothney, and it's a goal to the Lions. Snaps truly. That could be second or third pretty goal. Good, pretty good option there with that long kick because he, I think the Turvey Park guys um, decided he couldn't make the distance. They weren't paying 100% of attention. And the ball carried them. And, um, yeah, result, goal to the Lions. The Lions, 11-7-73. Bulldogs, 4-1-25. So the Bulldogs had that early spurt in the second quarter and then they've been stagnant again and Andrew for the first time we've we've uh, we've seen that a bit of run from Matty Hamblin gathered the ball in took him on and um, he'll be looking forward to getting more of those runs under his belt it's a shallow throw up there but uh, tapped down by Foley picked up by White and he's deemed to be caught with the ball there good tackle by Jesse Lander bit of descent occurring again there so he's been marched 50 metres and this will give him a shot on goal. You don't need that when you're uh, when you're struggling as it is. You don't need that descent. We we know all year the umpires won't tolerate that. They're very quick to play it. And I guess it's a good example to our juniors that are watching. They won't take any of that descent. So uh, if he comes in, he's going to kick from 25, 30 out, dead in front. Goal umpire does not move right over his head. 
result, goal to the Lions. Goal to the Lions, first two goals of this uh, third quarter to the Lions. The Lions 12-7, 79, Bulldogs 4-1-25, so big break on it now Andrew, that's uh, it's getting out there a little bit now for the Bulldogs, they've got to either, well they've got to do two things, they have to stop the Lions from scoring and they've got to score themselves. Steve Camp comes into the centre there for uh, Turvey Park. They'll be looking to try and get the clearances. They've, they've been winning the majority of the taps, but just can't get the, the ball can't out of the centre the ball there. out of the centre. The Lions are reading it better. The Wiedemann and Foley in the ruck on this occasion. It's tapped back by uh, Wiedemann to Ashcroft. Gets this one high. Under it is Kanagi. Coming in off the wing there is we, uh, uh, Ethan Wiedemann. He can't mark it. Gathered by Aaron Proctor. Chips wide. Looking for Jesse Lanner there. He gathers this one in. Chips it over the top there. Almost cut off by Hager there. Back into Matty Hamlin. Chips this one long and short. Looking for Tom uh, Michael Rofty there. No, Tom Anderson it is. Yep. A good mark there at Senar forward. So he's going to have to unload from just inside the 50. He won't want to get too close to the man he's on the mark. He's looking to pass this one off. Yep. Going to go back. He's going to give it everything though. Send it long and low. It's a, over oh, the top. It's gone through for a goal. It's clean bowled a lot of them I reckon. Yep. It's a goal to the Lions there. Once again, um, yeah, long distance kick, carried the pack. The Bulldogs guys probably decided it wasn't going to happen, but it carried them and uh, caught them napping. I think they really should have been able to stop that one, fist it away, but uh, never, never mind. Lions 13 7 85 Bulldogs 4 1 25 they Bulldogs can't advance on that 4 1 Foley and Wiedemann in the ruck again Wiedemann taps that down gathered by camp on that occasion clears the center with a high one racing out of his Sasse and Baxter there for a turvy Baxter gathers it in hand passes back inside looking for Wiedemann he can't gather it in picks it up now chips it short long and low looking for uh, Grentel he can't pick it up gathered by Ben Walsh onto his brother Josh Walsh. Kicks one low to Jack Sasse. Play on, says the umpire. Gathered by Michael Roffney. Dodges around one or two. Goes back to Josh Walsh. Chips one over the top and finds Dan Foley there. The Lions settle. Just take a breather. Kicks one over the top there and finds Lockie Parker. He's got Jack Sasse wide on that wing. He ignores him. Looks to come inside there. Finds Michael Roffney all on his own there in the centre of the ground. Chips one long and low, but cutting this off is Josh Ashcroft. The ball's on the ground. Coming over the top is Matt Hamlin there, and the umpire's called play on. Harry Woods has got the ball wrapped up in a tackle. There gets a little kick away to Fellows. Back to Fellows from camp. His kick smothered by Tom Susse. Gets one long and low. Misses Jack McKegg. It's a bit scrabbly here at the moment. Gathered by Mitch Taylor deep in that pocket, and he's gathered, wrapped up in a tackle there, and it'll be a throw in. Going to throw it in out there in front of that Michael McCormack sign. Of course, Andrew, that famous uh, incident, 1987, I think it was. Pretty wet day when uh, Jed Lawton didn't take too kindly to what Michael McCormack was writing in the paper and he, uh, he skittled him out of the shed. We'll talk about that a little bit later again. Olsen chips that one forward, but it's marked by Emery, who's been moved into defence for Turvey in this quarter. Gathered by Mazzocchi on the wing there. Chips one over the top to Hager. Turvey trying to run this out of defence there. Long and low, it's looking for a wet wet, it's gone through his legs. Picked up by Josh Walsh, he's wrapped up in a tackle, on to Kirkman, dodges around one or two, he's bumped. Ball spills three there, gathered by Fellows. Mazzocchi's wrapped up in a tackle there, coming through his Leary, he can't get his hand pass away, Kai Watts keeps it moving forward. On to Burhop there, he's deep on the boundary line oh, and the late. umpire's deemed it's gone over, over the boundary line, it'll be a throw in. Bit late that bump, but I don't think the umpire's watching, I think he's watching the boundary umpire, but a little bit late that bump, lucky there for the Bulldogs. Umpire to throw it in, Sam Martin back on his feet here on the bench there. Lions supporters will be happy to see that. Ball's gone through the feet of uh, Kirk Barn there. Picked up by Kai Watson. It's taken over the sideline once again. It'll be a throw in. Yeah, I mentioned that little incident with uh, Michael McCormack, Andrew. But um, anyway, they patched things up. The club got in a... Jed got in a bit of trouble and the club got in a bit of trouble. But they're, Michael and Jed are friends nowadays. So that's good to see. Ball's hit the ground. Play on, says the umpire. On to Tommy Anderson, gathers this one in. Over the top there to Ben Walsh. 
Kicks this one short and marked by McRae there. For Turvey, over to Mazzocchi. He chips this one on to Grintel. Marks the ball on that wing position here in front of the broadcasting box. Marked by Baxter on the half forward flank. Turvey looked to move this on quickly. Under this is Ben Walsh and Rhett Wiedemann, but it's a good strong mark to Rhett Wiedemann. He had the, uh, he had the jump on his opponent there, Ben Walsh, and he take, took a good mark there, and he'll go back and have a shot on goal. A settler here for Turvey. You know, the umpires, they didn't want to have any part of the um, little incidents that were happening. They let it play on, Andrew, and the ball eventually came back to where the guys were involved in that incident. So that made that they had to stop that job and get back in the play. Result, Turvey are going to have a shot on goal. So he's going to come in, kick from about 30, 35 out. Left foot, goal umpire, doesn't move Likes much. It. Yep, it's a goal to Rhett Wiedemann. Turvey's first of the quarter. Lions 13-7-85, Bulldogs 5-1-31. Olsen comes into the ruck for the Lions. Tom Susse comes to the bench. Michael Roffney coming back onto the ground. Olsen and Grintle in the ruck. Olsen up, wins a tap back. A good tap to Tommy Anderson, but he's dropped it. Gets a hand pass out wide, picked up by Fellows, the Young Allies Academy player. Gets his hand pass back to Mazzocchi. He's wrapped up in a tackle there, and the umpire is deemed to be caught with the ball. And Jack McKegg gets the free kick on that far wing there for the Lions. Hasn't been in it a lot today, Andrew, which is unusual for Jack, but there's plenty of time yet. That's right. Gets a quick kick into Sam Martin. Chips around the corner to Aaron Proctor there. Chips one long and short to Zach Burhop. It hits the ground there. Two game main opponents. Teammates run into each other in Anderson and Roffney. Turvey comes screaming through the centre here through Will O'Connor. Chips this one long and low. Running out wide as Rhett Weeman gathers it in inside the boundary line there. But the umpire's doing a bit going over the sidelines there and it'll be a throw in. Clash of two lines down there. I don't know what you call that. A little bit unusual. Not, um, yeah, just uh, perhaps a little bit more awareness and talk. Yeah. So we're in the uh, Turvey's forward line here. Olsen in, ruck, in front there. Taps it down to Aaron Proctor. Gathers the ball in the sideline. It's gone over once again. It'll be another throw in there. Throw in over there in front of the news agency sign. Of course, you've got uh, Phil Walsh down there in the main street of Gan Main for those that still buy their physical papers. But you can buy lots of other things at news, news agencies too. Gifts and lottos and all types of things. Olsen down to Sam Martin. Josh Walsh has gathered this one in and the umpire's called for another ball up there. So a number of ball ups this quarter, even though good conditions here at the sports ground. Bathed, Women over the top there. Bathed in sunshine. No one can pick this up. Turby tries to get a ball out. Hacked off the ground there by Jesse Lander. Marked by Willa Connor there across the half forward for the, the Bulldogs. To send this one in long and low. It's gone through hands there. Gathered by Baxter. He's kicked this one high. Sitting under it is Kirk Marn there. Takes a good mark. Goes to play on, looked like it, but he's gone back to take his kick. Yeah, he read that well, Andrew. He had his eyes on it, even backing up. He never took his eyes off it. That's what you've got to do to take those marks. So he kicks this one wide and long. Under this grintle here, it's gone through his hands. He evades Jack McKegg. Kicks this one low, looking for Jenkins. Charging through his uh, Sam Martin. It's taken over the sideline. Looks to have recovered from that knock there. Ten minutes ago. Yeah, only a temporary little downer for Sam Martin. Get back out there and get control of his players. Coming through as uh, Matty Hamlin uh, taking Olsen's knock. Ball's gone wide there. So Sam Martin trying to gather this in and the umpire's called for another throw in. It's gone out over the sideline. Game's at a stalemate at the moment. Both sides trying to... Uh, Gain that ascendancy once again. Yeah, Main Bakery, the big big sponsors out there. Great day in the canteen here today with the big crowd and the pies are popular. Umpires found a free kick amongst that one and it going to uh, Jacob Olsen there. Kicks this one long and low, looking for Lockie Parker. Gone through his hands and out over the sidelines there on the far side. Yeah, once again, thrown in. Be thrown in front, in front of the Cobra Parrel. Sign there, that merchandise, some still available at the 
at the kiosk and you can also get it online if you go onto that Facebook page and search up the lines, follow it on there, follow the link. Olsen and Griddle in the ruck, Olsen grabs this out of the ruck, can't get his kick away, he's doomed to be caught with the ball and uh, it's Turby's free. Griddle looking to uh, move this on, called to play on by the umpire, kicks this one to uh, Emery there takes a good mark on to White. Chips this one over the top. Looking for Baxter there and he's taken a good mark. The half forward flank was good movement by Turvey there. Yeah, he made good position, Andrews. Same thing, eyes on the ball and moving for the player to deliver the ball out in front of him. He's he'll always go back a good... and have a shot. So he's going to have to kick from 40, at least 40 out. No problem. A little bit of breeze over his right shoulder. He'll allow for that. Generally a good kick. Ball's looking good off the boot and straight through the middle. Andrews called it. Generally a good kick and that one was no exception. So what's the score what? on the Beyond Bank scoreboard guy? The, the Lions, 13-7-85. The Bulldogs, 6 one Andrew with 20 minutes. We're ticking up, just ticked over the 20 minute mark of the third quarter. So the Lions under no threat of losing the game. It'd have to be a miraculous uh, last quarter from the Bulldogs, but Bulldogs just making that scoreboard a little bit more respectable. Olsen in the ruck, taps that one down. Picked up by Fellows there on that occasion. Coming through is Mazzocchi, he can't pick it up. Gets his hand pass out to Fellows. He dodges round one, gets his hand pass away. Coming off the back flank is Doyle there. Kicks this one high, under this is Ben Walsh and Emery. Punched by Ben Walsh, gathered by uh, Leary. Bulldogs push forward once again. It's gone over the back there, and Baxter Wallet has come through and kicked a goal. Back on the field for the Bulldogs, and it's another goal to the, the Bulldogs there. Bulldogs have put goals together back to back in the last couple of minutes here at the sports ground. The Lions, 13 7 85. Bulldogs, 7 1 43, with that impressive straight kicking. Their, um, their inside 50 statistics would be reasonable, Andrew. For the times that they've been inside 50, they have pretty good conversion rate, really. Yep. They've made the most of their opportunities in the forward line, and it's a pretty even quarter now. Is it four goals apiece for the quarter? So Lions with their eyes on the finals and hold, clinging on to that second spot. Sam Martin be looking for a little bit of a lift. So made a few changes the Bulldogs, which has worked in their favour on that occasion. The umpire's uh, thrown it up, but it's going to be another ball up there. Olsen in the ruck. He gets it tapped back behind him. Wiedemann all over the top of him. And down there and Proctor kicks this one high. Under it is Lockie Parker and takes a, almost a mark in front there. Play on, says the umpire. And it's wrapped up there by Dan Foley and it'll be a ball up. Half forward flank for the Lions. Umpire must have deemed that they had it 50-50, Andrew, but it certainly looked like the Lions player. He did have the front position, but he, 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 couldn't, he didn't have the clean grab, apparently. No one can win that tap. It's on the ground there, gathered by Turvey, wrapped up in a tackle there, and the umpire's going to call for another ball up. Rob Johnson. Ball's thrown up there. Tapped forward by Turvey. Picked up by Sam Martin there. He's grabbed in a tackle but gets his kick away. Sitting under this is uh, Harry Woods. Turvey looked to switch across goal here to McRae. He's got Mazzocchi out wide. Hand passes out in front of him. He gathers it in here on the wing. Chips one short and low looking for Grigg. He can't pick it up at his feet. Gets his hand pass back to Harry Woods there. Plenty of run now from Turvey. Inside to James White. Marks there in the wing in front of the... Grandstand. Chips one short to Mazzocchi there. Turby starting to control this game. Looks to play on. Gets his kick away. Under this is Olsen though. Goes up and takes a good strong mark there at uh, centre half back for the Lions. Kicks this one inside. It's dangerous. Turns it over. Picked up by Wiedemann. He's got uh, Baxter on his own in the goal square. It's punched by Sasse. Saves the day and the ball's taken through from behind. Let off there from the Lions. They turned it over there. At big half let forward. off, guy. Big let off. Yep. Lions got a lift. 
Got a bit of cloud cover now at the ground. So Rothney kicks this wide, looking for Josh Walsh. And the ball's rolled out, picked up by O'Connor on that far wing. He can't pick it up. Gathered by Josh Walsh. Gets a little kick away. Running onto it is Jesse Lander. One inside to Matty Hamlin. Breaks one tackle. Breaks another tackle. Gets his kick forward. Looking for uh, Jesse Lander. He just gets his kick away onto Lockie Parker. Kicks around the corner to the goal square. And the umpire said play on. Coming through is McRae. Kicks this one high. Josh Walsh has punched this out of uh, Wiedemann's hands. And it's gone over the sideline there. It'll be a throw in. On that far wing, 24 minutes in this uh, third quarter. Still be timed for a goal if uh, either side can take it away as we see another throw in out there in front of that Bill Rava business. He's very busy with that carpet cleaning in the when you've got wet, wet winters. No one wins that ruck on the occasion and uh, tried to be picked up there by Ashcroft. Gathered by Foley. He can't get his hand pass away. Rofty tries to keep it in and it's gone out of bounds there. It'll be another throw in. Bit of a stalemate uh, late in the third checking. quarter, Andrew. Yep. No, it's a, a you know, Turvey's lifted out. A few positional changes have made. It's um, going to ball it up, I think. Some, I don't know, he's asking the umpire to... Whether it was no. off a foot or what it was. Um, but he's going to... Yeah, yeah, so... Team right, to be out in the full. Out on the full. Free kick to Dan Foley. So the young umpire out there, you could see it. Was He was very clear. He um, signalled that uh, came off the... Bulldog's foot. Comes to Kirkman inside to, uh, uh, sorry, comes to Olsen inside to Kirkman. He's got the ball there on the centre wing for the Lions. Sends this one long and high. Under it is Rofney, but the ball's punched clear. Picked up by Jesse Lander. Hooks this one back around the corner. Under it is Harry Woods for Turvey. He'll look to switch this one back across to McRae here. And he's found him here in the pocket. Looks to play on quickly. He's got Baxter pushing up the ground there. He can't take the mark. It's hit the ground there. Pressure from Tom Susse. Grabbed up by Kai Watts. Back to Harry Woods there now. And it's a free kick there to uh, Mazzocchi. Three quarter time. So we, we look forward to bringing you the last quarter here at the Gamain Sports Ground. Back here to start the last quarter between the Bulldogs and the Lions. It was a bit even quarter that third quarter and both coaches were very animated at three quarter time to their charges, trying to implore them that they lift in this last quarter. Yeah, well Lions. done to, well done to the Bulldogs. They've, we talked about it at the start of the third quarter. They needed to add a bit of respectability to the respectability to the scoreboard and that's exactly what they did. So out of the centre for the Lions there is Jesse Lander on a good break. Gathered by Dan Foley, swings around on his right foot there. Kicks this one long and low, but it's gone through from behind. Good start there from the Lions out of the centre. Olsen to uh, Jesse Lander. So the throw in will be out, be right up against the point post there. Lions attacking pocket. In front of the Bradley plumbing. Foley taps this one forward. Down to Rofty. Tries to gather it in, can't pick it up. Ball's on the ground there. The umpire says play on. Dan Foley tries to pick it up. It's dropped. And uh, Jack McKegg's wrapped up in a tackle there. And the umpire will ball it up. Lions will be keen to score in once now they're inside their 50. Foley taps this over the top. Charging through is Doyle there. But the ball's come off legs. And it's, uh, it's uh, hit the uh, football there from the young fella over the fence. But it's doomed to be out of bounds. And the umpire will throw it in. Throw in there, Rabobank, of course, sponsoring the football club there. Foley taps this one back inside of Jesse Lander. A good pick up there, but he can't get his kick away. It's gathered by McRae there. He's wrapped up in a tackle there, and uh, the umpires seem to be uh, held with the ball there and going to ball it up there deep in that pocket for the Lions. Yeah, held to him. He didn't have enough prior opportunity to get rid of it. Foley grabs this one out of the rucks. Left foot snap, and the ball's gone through for a behind. Almost a goal there to Foley. First score of the quarter, the Lions 13-8-86, Bulldogs 7-2-44. Hager brings this into Mazzocchi in that pocket there. Lions trying to cover the outs there. Sends this one long and high under it is Ben Walsh. Good mark by Emery there in front of Ben Walsh on that occasion. 
He's kicked this one wide, looking for Grintle there. It's balls on the ground there. He's tapped this one forward. He can't stay on his feet. They gathered by Burhop. Runs around Leary. Gets a hand pass back inside to Olsen. Back to Kirkman there. Back to Proctor. It's hit his feet there. The Lions have stuffed this up there. And the umpire will ball it up. Pressure skills there. Really good pressure from the Bulldogs. Olsen in the right. Thumps this one forward there towards Jack McKegg and uh, Will O'Connor. Jack McKegg can't gather it in though. Diving forward is uh, Aaron Proctor. Picked up now by Jack McKegg. On to Tommy Anderson. Sends this one in high. He's tackled late there and the umpire says play on. And the umpire has called it play on there to McRae. He's taken the mark there from Woods. Kicks this one wide. Coming through is Mitch Taylor. He can't get a hand on it. Running onto this is Jenkins. Gathers it in there. Kicks it back inside looking for Ashcroft. It's gone over his head there. Back onto Josh Walsh. Over the top to uh, Rofney there. He dodges around one or two. Jack McKegg gets one wide to Mitch Taylor. He's got to come back on his left. Gets his hand pass away in front of him there. Gathered by Rofney. Gathers this one and kicks it inside. Good mark by Jesse Lander. Back inside uh, O'Connor there. Dodges around one. Sends this one long to goal. And it's through from behind there. Tom Sasse cramping up there for the Lions. Naturally, he's only played twice this year. And he's coming off. Turby switched the ball wide. Looking for Mazzocchi. He takes the mark. Over the back is Wiedemann. He drops the mark. Gathered by Tom Anderson. On to Zach Burhop. Chips this one over the top. Looking for Alexander. It hits him on the head. Tommy Anderson comes through and he's caught high with the ball there and a free kick. He'll go back and take his free kick now. Kicks this one in long and low. It's going to hit the ground in front of Alexander. He tries to gather it in. Picked up by Jack McKig. Gets a hand pass to Roffney. Back to Alexander. It's cut off by Turby there. And the umpire will ball it up. Tom Sasse limps over the boundary line there, Andrew. You yeah. called it with the cramp. Of course, um, you... You, you've got to be match. You can train what you like, but match fitness, different thing. Ball's tapped forward by Foley there, and on the ground, uh, wrapped up in a tackle is Mazzocchi there by uh, Tommy Anderson, his cousin, first cousins. So Brooks throw umpire Brooks throws this up. Foley taps it down, punched forward by Roffney, tries to get clear, wraps up uh, Ashcroft in a tackle there, and he's taken over the sidelines, and there. Boundary umpire will throw it in there in the pocket for the Lions. So the Lions, 39-87. Bulldogs, 7-2-44. Five, five minutes gone, first quarter. Uh, thir final quarter at the sports ground. Foley taps this back. Coming through is Will O'Connor strongly there. Tom Anderson gathers the ball in, but the umpire's called for another ball up there. Once again in this four line for the Lions. Foley in front position there. Taps this forward to... Uh, Tom Anderson, he kicks this one high. No one can mark this one. It's bouncing in front of Aaron Proctor. Gathers it in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Coming through is Jesse Lander. Kicks this one low and picked up by Harry Woods there. Kicks one over the top. Hair pass over the top to Darcy Irvine. Andrew, both sides might be looking as though they've got a bit of the effect of the... It's been a wet week, wet week on the track. Uh, ground, even though it's pretty good here at the sports ground, a little bit heavy, but they just, you know, it's taken a fair bit out of their legs. Just, I'm not giving them any excuses, but uh, it's just what it looks like to me up here from this commentary position. Picked up by Hagger out of that ruck contest there, gathered by Olsen, and the ball's gone over the sideline in front of them. So we're going, we're going to see a throw in here right below us here at the commentary position. So Olsen's going to go up against his turvy opponent there. Olsen and Wiedemann. Olsen taps the ball down. Gathered by Hager there. Gets a hair pass out to Wiedemann. Young Ethan Wiedemann. And the ball's knocked over the sideline for a throw in. Again, another throw in in front of the uh, spectator awning here at the sports ground. Gamain sports ground. Light rain, I reckon. And I think I can hear it on the roof. We mightn't be able to pick it up on the camera, but light rain across the ground, I think. Fire Boston McCree throws that one. It's gone through the legs here. Racing for the ball is Kanagi and Ashcroft there. And the ball's gone over the sideline and it'll be a throw in. So we're on repeat again. We haven't gone anywhere and we've gone having another throw in within two metres of the one we previously called. Rain a little bit heavier now. Olsen and Grindle in the ruck there. Olsen gets held onto there and another bit of push and shove. 
Umpire's calling the ball back here, and it's a free kick to Olsen. He was held in the ruck there. Unfortunately, Matt Kanagi's hurt his shoulder. He's good shoulder by the look of it. Coming to, to the field, off the off the field. Olsen kicks this one high. Rofty stays on his feet and takes a good mark there in front of Young Fellows. Looks to bring this in field. He's got Tom Anderson scoring back behind him now. Ball's kicked off the ground there by Leary. Under this is uh, Sam Martin. He can't take the mark. As light rain falls, Ben Walsh picks this one up. Up to Kirkman there. Gets round one. Gets his hand pass back inside. It's all turvy here. Picked up by James White. Goes back to uh, Mazzocchi there. Uh, O'Connor, sorry. Gets one into Hager there. Gets his kick away. It's a long mongrel punt up to the forward line there for Turvey. Under it is Jack Susse there. The ball's punched to the ground there. Gathered by Wiedemann. Gets a hair pass over the top. Gathered by Sam Martin. Back inside to Kirk Mann. He's wrapped up in a tackle there by Jenkins. Gets his hand pass away to Jack Susse. Chips one over the top to Tommy Anderson. Takes a diving mark there and... He says, hold on. No, he plays on. Gets one to Lockie Parker. Sam Martin running on there off that halfback line. Gets one over the top to Jack McKegg. It's gone over his head. It's racing towards the sidelines there. Him and Will O'Connor tries to wrap him up. Chips one over the top there to Zach Burhop. But it's a almost marked there by Turvey. Ball's on the ground there. Mazzocchi can't pick it up. Play on, says the umpire. <coughs> Umpire's giving him plenty of latitude late, Andrew. <laughs> I don't think he wants to get involved too much. Marked by Sam Martin on that far wing. Chips one inside and finds Lockie Parker. Chips one over the top. Under this is uh, Hager there. He can't mark it. He's wrapped up in a tackle by Kai Watts there. And the umpire say, I'll ball it up. So, yeah, with Andrew, as you call it, rain, light rain falling. And the temperature's dropped about three or four degrees in five minutes. So we can fill it up here. So... Turby trying to clear the pack on this occasion. Out to Mazzocchi. Gets his kick away. He's got Emery inside here. The ball's on the ground. Good punch by Josh Walsh. Out to Ben Walsh from Olsen. Chips one over the top looking for Sam Martin. He races this one. Big clash there from Hager and Martin. And the ball's gone over the sideline. So it'll be thrown in out there in front of the Coolerman Steelworks. They make those chaser bins that are very popular. Sell them all over Australia. They travel right across to Western Australia with... Even sell them over there, cart them across the Nullarbor. That's how good they are from the factory up there at Coolerman. Ball's thrown in. Olsen taps this one down. Gathered almost by Turby. Out the back there through Burhop. Ball's on the ground once again. Picked up by Lockie Parker. The ball a little bit greasy now. Gets a hair pass on to Ben Walsh. Chips one long and low, but it's marked by Fellows here. He plays on. Urgency for uh, Turby here. Kicks one high. Goes through the hands of Olsen. Tries to get his kick away. Can't see who it is, Andrew, but another Lions player rolling around the ground over there in front Lockie of the Parker's scoreboard. on the ground there. Don't need that at this stage of the season. Looks like an ankle injury. Yep, he's holding it up. Writhing around on the ground. Olsen taps this one forward, gathered by Ashcroft. Kicks the one high. Kirk Mann takes this in front of Ben Walsh there. Just holds it up there. Lockie Parker's been assisted from the field there with an ankle injury. Aaron Tep Proctor comes onto the field there. Ten minutes gone in the last quarter. Kicks this one wide and finds Josh Walsh. Kicks it wide again and finds Sam Martin in front of the scoreboard. Just holds it up there. Time is of the essence for Turvey if they want to get back into this game. Kicks one high there looking for Ben Walsh. He can't mark. Picked up, oh, Tempted to be picked up there by Mazzocchi. He overruns it. Picked up by Dan Foley. Back to uh, Kai Watts. He dodges around two there. Kicks this one long and low. Looking for George Alexander. But finds Tommy Anderson on the boundary line. <coughs> Anderson swings around on his right foot. Delivers it to the top of the goal square. Alexander not, not able to mark it. Swings around on his left foot. And eventually we, Lions get a goal through Jesse Lander. Good bit of work there by Hunter Crozier. Passing that one off to Jesse Lander. That's the first goal of the quarter guy, is it? The Lions, 14-9, 93. Bulldogs, 7-2, Yeah, first goal, first Lions goal for the quarter, Andrew. So, um, still only uh, 12 minutes gone, so half a quarter to go virtually. Lions will be down a rotation or two on the bench here. Time for, the, 
time for the Lions to rack up that uh, that century and also time for Bulldogs to add that just a little bit more respectability. I'd say Lockie Parker's out of the game and um, Matt Kanagi's attempting to come back on or he's back on the ground after that uh, shoulder knock and that Tom Sussay's got the cramp so the Lions will be a bit short on the bench there and the umpires found a free kick here for Turvey on that far wing. Plays on quickly to O'Connor. Chips one short and low and finds Emery all on his own, but he's dropped that mark. Play on, says the umpire. He tries to get his hair pass away. Gathered by Jack McKegg. Out to Sam Martin. Running down that wing there. Kicks this one long and low, looking for Dan Foley. It's gone over his head. Tries to gather it in, which he does. Swings back around his right foot there. Comes inside, looking for Jesse Lander. And finds him in the centre of the ground. Looks to swing around and play on. Kicks this out in front of George Alexander. It's too far in front of him. Tries to gather it in. He can't pick it up. Gets his hair pass back over the top to Aaron Proctor. Doesn't hit its target. Aaron Proctor tries to pick it up. He can't do so. Gathered by Camp. Dodges around one. <coughs> Kicks this one high under it is Kirk Mahan. He can't mark. Gathered by Jenkins for the Bulldogs. Kicks this one high under it is Olsen. Sasse, they both go to ground. Baxter and Sasse taps this one forward looking for Ben Walsh. He gathers it in. Kicks oh, it good up. gather, Ben Walsh. It was. Bit of luck there. Gets it over the top to Sam Martin. Comes back inside looking for Josh Walsh and finds him. Kicks one short to Sam Martin, who's plenty of run from the captain coach in this last quarter. Looks to switch play here now. Got Rothney, who's just come off the bench for the Lions. Takes a mark here at centre half forward. You see that ha happen often, Andrew. The player runs on and the, the opposition not quite awake to it and give a bit of space and time. Kicks this one looking for Alexander and he's bumped out of the way. The umpire says play on, yeah. call it a mark. And it's um, gone out wide. Umpire not has got the ball. Umpire not buying that. On to Darcy Irvine. Kicks this one long and low, looking for Emery on that wing there. He's looking dangerous, swings around on his right, looking to move this quickly. He's got young Grigg deep in the forward line there, the half forward flank. Marks in front of Josh Walsh. Goes back, kicks this one in short, looking for Ethan Wiedemann. He gathers it in, he can't get his kick away. Gathered by Sasse, on to Sam Martin, on to Kai Watts. Kicks this one long and wide, looking for Jack McKegg. And it's going to roll over the sideline and out of bounds. Throw in, throw, out, in. throw in out there from our drone operator, Brill Ag. I think Jack was happy to see that go over, Andrew. Yep. No, there's a few tired legs out there. Heavy track, heavy, heavy ground. Jack McKegg in the ruck and Chase Griddle on this occasion. It's gone to, at their feet, tried to be picked up here by Kai Watts. No one can gather it in there. Ball comes back to Hagger there. He can't gather it in. Gets his hand pass back to Fellows. But the umpire's deemed a free kick. Play on, he calls. No, he's not. No, 50 must have been descent there from the Lions, was there? Not sure what's going on here. The umpire's calling turvy, it back. Got a turvy player down. So free it's kick a... To it's Hager a, there, is it? It's a day for injuries. It's a day for down players. That can also happen on a wet track when you slip over, hurt your ankle. Might might have to resurrect some of those long stops from the back in the day, Andrew. Actually they're calling for the stretcher even though the players he's on his feet. Might have a little bit of concussion. They'll probably just take him straight over the boundary line and they they can run the replacement straight on then. And Turvey looking to regain momentum here. They've been pressing, but uh, it's been a bit of a, a dull quarter. Only the one goal scored so far to the Lions. And it comes back in field there to Harry Woods. He can't pick it up. Out the back there, Kai Watts tries to tackle uh, James White. It's a good, strong tackle. The umpire says play on there. But Jack McKiggs, uh, he's deemed to be a push in the back there. And so it's a free kick to James Watt. And he'll take the kick for Turvey on that half-back flank. I think the Bulldogs are getting down on numbers on the bench too, Andrew. Yeah. This one's gone wide and finds Chase Grintle. Although Baxter Wallet's back on the ground after that heavy knock in the second quarter. This ball once found Emery again, once again in front of Ben Walsh there. It's an half-back. Kicks this one long and low and uh, coming out to it is Baxter Wallet's gone through his hands, picked up by Lung, Young Grigg. Gets a hand pass over the top there. 
to uh, Mazzocchi. Kips this one high, but marking across there is Matt Kanagi. Showing no ill effects of that uh, shoulder knock there. Takes a mark, chips it back inside to Kai Kirkman, who marks there for, in the back line for the Lions. Comes short to Aaron Proctor. Lions trying to control this ball now. Chips one short to Tommy Anderson. Gathers one low at his feet. Kicks this one long and wide. Looking for Burhop in front of the grandstand here. Plays on, kicks this one long and low, but it's gone through the hands of Darcy Irvine there. He can't mark it. Gathered by uh, Rofty there. Back to George Alexander. He gets one hand pass out the back to Aaron Proctor. Gathered by Tommy Anderson. He gets his hand pass away. Gathered by James White. Back to Mazzocchi there. He runs through the centre of the ground there. Kicks this one long and high. Looking for Corey Baxter. He can't mark the ball. Gone through his hands there. Jack Sasse tries to clean up there. Gathered by Baxter. Good hands. Chips around. Has a shot on goal. And it's through for a goal. For Turvey. Seventeen minutes into the last quarter. Lions 14 9, 93. Bulldogs 8 2, 50. So um, the Lions bench here seem to think that uh, we could have got a free kick down there, Andrew, but umpires, no, he's uh, making you earn it today. And the Bulldogs were able to take it away for a goal. They've still got that uh, pretty good kicking, 8 2. Yeah, it's been very good kicking by Turvey, especially that last shot from Corey Baxter. It's a great goal from the boundary line there. Sam Martin gathers this one in, out to Jesse Lander. He's wrapped up in a tackle there by Camp. He can't pick it up. Sam Martin gets one out to Dan Foley. He gets his hand pass back to Sam Martin at his feet. F scrappy football here for the Lions as Turvey pushed forward here. Ben Walsh charging out from centre-half back. Gets one over the top to Jesse Lander. And he's deemed a push in the back there, and it's a free kick. I mentioned earlier, Lions were in no danger of losing the game, but um, the Turvey Park have been able to add a little bit of respectability. Probably uh, the scoreboard probably looks a little bit good for the Lions compared to, I think the Bulldogs have played better than what suggests on the scoreboard. Yeah, they've played the game in patches, the Lions, as the ball's pushed forward there by Sam Martin. Under this is Aaron Proctor, picked up by Hunter Crazier, snaps this one back around, looking for Matty Hamlin, keeps his feet there, gathers this one in there. Play on, says the umpire, gathered by Hunter Crazier. He's oh, wrapped legged. up in a tackle there. Play on, says the umpire. No, oh. it's a free kick to Turvey Park. Look there, be... in O'Connor, chips Look. this one short, looking for camp there, in front of the goals for Turvey. Play on, says the umpire, goes over the top there, looking for Kirkman. Gets his hand pass away on to Tommy Anderson. Kicks this one high. Has a shot on goal, but it's drifted off to the left and through from behind. Yeah, Tom Anderson's coming into... Well, he's been in the play all day, Andrew, but he's coming into it again in this last quarter. Just a little bit offline on that occasion. Big also asks the question, what about me? But uh, it's gone over the sidelines. Throw in there. McRae front position for the... Uh, Turvey there, kicked off the ground by Hunter Crozier, picked up by Doyle in the pocket, looks to clear this out wide, coming through as Burhop, he can't mark, gathered by Wiedemann there, Ethan gets his kick away, up to the wing here, Jenkins and Kirkman, Kirkman in front, he can't take the mark, Jenkins gathers it in, gets a hand pass inside to James Watt, Turvey with plenty of run here, kicks the ball down long, looking for Emery's, race for the ball to the pocket there, in front of Josh Walsh, he gathers it in, dodges around him, snaps back, and kicks cleanly for the Bulldogs, that's their second of the quarter. That's their second goal. They're winning this last quarter so far. Yeah, they are, Andrew, with uh, the Lions 14 9 93, Bulldogs 9 2 56. So uh, 21 gone. Bulldogs would love to get another couple, Andrew, and that really adds some respectability. George Alexander comes back onto the ground, coming back into the centre of the ground. And Aaron Proctor coming to the bench. Dan Foley and Legan Main Chase Grindle for Turvey Park in the ruck. Up they go. Dunwin wins the ruck on that occasion. Hacked out of the air by Chase Grindle. Coming through with Sam Martin. Free kick there to uh, Young Fellows. <laughs> the academy coach and the academy uh, student on that occasion. Ball's gone through, hands there, over the back to Tommy Anderson, wrapped up in a tackle there, and the umpire's deemed a once high there, and it's a free kick. 
He looks to bring the ball back through the centre here. Kerr mark on a run there, but it's gone straight into the arms of Chase Grindle there. Kicks this one long and low, looking for Baxter Wallet. Gone through his hands, picked up by Josh Walsh. Back to Tom Anderson, gets a quick kick away there. Found by Josh Icecroft. Wrapped up in a tackle there's Jenkins by Rofty. Gets that one to Leary, gets his forward kick there. It's all Corey Baxter there. He can't take the mark. Kick smothered there by Foley. Kirkman tries to pick it up. Very greasy ball here at the moment after that shower. Gathered by Zach Burhop. Gets his kick around a corner to Jack Susse. He can't take possession. <laughs> Game over. Lions 14-9-93. Bulldogs 9-2-56 here at the Gamain Sports Ground today to uh, to finalise this uh, weekend of the 40th uh, anniversary celebration of the uh, Gamain Grong Grong Madong Lions, Andrew. So yeah, a game of um, a game of patches like in and out for both sides, Andrew. Exactly. Yes. Yep. Yep, no one could sort of get the ascendancy for big amounts of the game. And uh, although it was a, you know, a, a reasonable win for the Lions there, they some areas they need to work on leading up to the finals. And Turvey Park tried very hard there on occasions today. So a home game next week, and then the bye on the show weekend. That that might not come quick enough for the for the Lions. A few people hobbling around and shoulders and cramps and one thing and another so that'll be very timely Andrew but uh, before the before we get into that finals campaign yeah yeah no look, Narandra next week so the Lions will be looking to um, get some system into their game going forward into the finals and uh, I'm likely to play uh, currently sit in second position and I'll be hoping to hold that spot yeah no like we said no danger of, Lions weren't in any danger of uh, defeat but um, yeah, good effort from from the Bulldogs. Particularly, I'm impressed with their um, their kicking nine two. That's that's good kicking. Doesn't matter whether you're winning or losing. It's a when you get more goals than when you get hardly any behinds. It's a good sign that they had a good conversion rate for the times that they did go into inside their fifty. They they scored pretty well. Not having got the full stats on it, we don't have a stats man. That might be next year. With Baz keeps adding more and more stuff to this. Uh, commentary he'll probably come up with something next year where I can keep the stats on the go too or something but he's having a bit of a smirk there so so I think we might um, I think we might sign off there and don't forget so next week um, have a look and see how whether you can get on that twitch TV and we'll see if we can uh, stream it but like I said we're limited by the we're limited by the technology available uh, in the district so that so failing that so search it up on those Leffler posts for uh, to catch the game so good afternoon everybody and thank you very much everyone involved thanks uh, thanks a lot